Welcome back to our next lesson and this is me Farid Fana, your instructor, guide and friend in this channel. In our previous lesson, we studied about Shape Builder tool. But inside Shape Builder tool, there are two other tools as well. Live Paint Bucket and Live Paint Selection tool. In this video, we're going to cover what are those two tools and how can we use them. First of all, we need to have a few shapes to use our paint, live paint bucket and live paint selection tool. I'm going to draw one circle. Let's change this color to black and take a few copies of it. Then I'm going to select all of them, go to my shape builder tool and select live paint bucket. In live paint bucket, I can color them separately and I can color each and every part of my circle with a different color. How? With arrow keys. First of all, we need to know from where or which color does our live paint bucket tool selects and or from where it picks the colors. Simply it picks from the swatches. What are the swatches? These are the swatches. If you don't have the swatches here, go to your window and this is the swatches click on it and it will appear if i over on my shape you can see three color squares the first one and the middle one is none because i have selected my fill with none there is no fill then if you click on the arrow key right arrow key of your keyboard it will shift the color from none to white if you want to click white if, or if you want to fill this part of your circle with white click on it if you click arrow key again, that it will shift it to black. Now, you can see in the middle, there is a black color. You can fill it with black. On the left side, white color. And on the right side, red color. And if you come to the swatches, you can see in the middle, I have black. On the left side, I have white. And on the right side, I have black. If I click right key of my arrow key again, then the red color will be in the middle, left side will be black and right side will be yellow. Voila, that's it. So this is where the live paint bucket selects the colors. I hope you guys understood. If you want to arrange it or if you want to have your own colors, you can put it on swatches. Then you can easily pick colors and add or apply it on your circles, design shapes, whatever it is. Easily. You don't need to go to your foreground color and double click on it select the colors and then again fill it here for different color again you need to go there change the color the same process will be repeated several times therefore we have live paint bucket i am gonna fill it with red or maybe black this section with red and again i am gonna click my left arrow key to go back on black color click on it right click of your arrow key to shift it to red color click and if you go and go and go on there are a bunch of colors or a lot of colors you can select and apply it on your shapes but i'm gonna stick with black and red what are the difference between applying colors with paint bucket tool and applying colors on your shapes or circles manually let's draw a few more circles now, if I double click on it, change its color to orange, and I double click on it, change its color to blue, and this one, red. Let's get rid of these two. Now, each circle of mine has taken color separately. This is a whole separate circle. It's not merged. But what happens to the intersect section of my two colors or two circles? They do not take colors, they have their own circle color which is behind the red color or behind the shape which is in front of your shape. I hope you guys understood but in this section or while you use live bucket tool or live paint bucket tool, you can give colors to each circles or to each section of your circles. After applying live paint bucket, all of them will be in a single group. You haven't grouped it yet, but at the time you use your live paint bucket tool, it will be automatically in group. Click on it. If you don't have your ungroup option, first expand it. Okay. Now right click on it. 
you have your ungroup option here as well and you have your ungroup option in this section too now you can is it ungrouped? I don't think so now it is ungrouped each section of your circle is a separate shape now this is what live paint bucket does what else can we do? earlier I draw shapes with my ellipse tool now I'm gonna draw shapes with a pencil tool let me draw one circle here and let me draw another here now if I select both of them and go to my live paint bucket if you click here it will work obviously and here it will work too but this section won't get any type of colors why? because you have a gap here you don't need to worry about that we have a solution for that as well just go to your object menu and come down to your live paint then to gap option in gap option we have already selected my gap option but paint stops at small gaps but the gap we have is a larger gap so we select large gaps and ok after that when I click on it now sometimes this option also won't work then what will be the solution we also have an option for that go back to your option go to your live paint go to your gap option then instead of selecting large gaps click on your custom gaps in custom gaps you can increase the pixels of gaps how many pixels do we have right now 12 pixels I can increase it the last pixel should be 72 we can increase it till 72 pixel gap to fill it with our live paint but so this is a solution too now there is another scenario if I go to ellipse tool add two colors and just take a copy select both of them increase the stroke now can I add colors to my strokes if I select both of them go to my live paint bucket red here and yellow here put my blue color here as well now how can I apply colors on my stroke on my stroke I can't apply any colors for doing so you need to do what double click on your live paint bucket tool to live paint bucket options will appear you can see the options I only have paint fill I can also check the paint stroke then I can apply paints on my stroke just go to yellow or gray magenta and well we can orange now if I go and expand them okay ungroup them you can see my each section has taken color separately my strokes and my fills this is how you can apply colors to a stroke apply colors to a circle by simply selecting your light bucket uh, paint bucket tool and applying colors to your shapes which has gave I mean open path shapes now what can we do with live paint selection tool with live paint selection tool we can't do anything special we can't move any color we can't move any shape but we can select multiple colors if I select this one hold my shift this one hold shift and select all of them all the shapes you wanna change its color then click on any color you want select this one hold shift select all of them change the color to the colors you want this is how live paint selection tool works so this are the tools inside shape and the tool if you guys understood that will be good if you haven't watch it again <laughs>